YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Guys, this is an incredible story of how TikTok made me famous in Turkey. If you don't know me, my name is Derek. I am a world traveler and I've been traveling full time for six months. And I want to share the story of my social media journey. Tell me you're in Turkey without saying you're in Turkey. So when we create content as social media influencers, content creators, all of the above, travel vloggers, anything on YouTube, we kind of strategize what's the best effective way to reach people. Some people say Facebook for business, some people say Instagram for influencers, some people say YouTube for a more long-term reach, but then we have the new guy, which is TikTok. And TikTok is kind of like a free-for-all and it's a hit or miss type of thing. We don't really understand it, but we've heard and seen that TikTok has this crazy algorithm that reaches people beyond Facebook. This is my story. It kind of starts about three months ago. I wasn't really into TikTok at first because there has been some issues in the past that I've seen about TikTok, you know, rewarding racism against uh, people of color, you know, and people getting paid for being racist and people uh, of color that complain about these uh, issues and TikTok doesn't do anything about it. In fact, the people that complain uh, get their channels removed and the people that are on TikTok are often uh, rewarded for racism. So at first I wasn't really into it because as you see, I'm a person of color and I don't really support that. Um, but I did have a friend, longtime friend of mine, um, one of my friends said, hey, if you're gonna go into this type of journey of traveling, building content, you, you wanna have as much reach as possible. And he's heard that TikTok really does work for people. So I said, okay, um, let me give it a try. It wouldn't hurt to try. And my strategy was to reach people on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, but YouTube being first as my primary goal. This was my second day in Turkey and I flew in from Jordan. This was just an, a regular day. I'm trying to you know, just get my feet wet in the country, preparing my ideas and stuff like that. I was in the European side of Turkey. I saw a guy that was grooming a, a, a cat. And I said, this was hilarious. Let me just record it. That's it, <laughs> you know? Um, I got to my hotel room and I was just looking, you know, at something to post on TikTok or whatever. At this time, I only had like 10,000 followers on TikTok. And I posted the the cat video of, this, of a Turkish guy grooming a cat. Um, and I posted it on my story. And I got a lot of, you know, feedback from it. Uh, and mostly at this time, I have like a lot of American followers, a little bit of Egyptian, a little bit of a European here and there. But there is this thing that I do where it's kind of like I set up the context of every country and it's called like, tell me the country without telling me you're in that country. So it's kind of like showing me the bad or good habits of a country without saying it the country. You know, it's really popular on um, social media and I gave it a try so I created you know uh, tell me you're in Turkey without saying you're in Turkey and as I thought about this setup I was thinking of where I want to be the background what colors you know uh, make sure I had a fresh haircut I filmed it in uh, Nishantasha this place called Nishantasha at this uh, cake cake restaurant whatever so the, the whole cake restaurant is like uh, bright pink red like three different shades of red and then uh, I stitch it together with the cat video. This is just this is just me not knowing anything about Turkey as far as like their uh, mannerisms. And I stitched the video together, and I posted it my second day of Turkey in the morning, uh, not at night. This was like 8 a.m. I've had success posting videos on TikTok at a later time, but this time I was just like in my hotel room, just like why not? You know, let me just post it. And the moment I posted. It didn't get any uh, feedback within the first five minutes, but it was within the first 15 minutes, I saw like a, a sharp spike within like 1,000 views. And then the next couple minutes, it was like 3,000 views. Then the next couple minutes, it was like 10,000 views. And I'm just like, whoa, you know? Um, so I went out, you know, I did my thing. Uh, went to go get some breakfast, 
this was one hour into posting the video on TikTok, and I was already at 100K. And I was just like, whoa, what's going on? And then like, I can see the comments. It's a mixture of, you know, Turkish people, people that speak English, and they're just laughing because there's a Turkish man grooming a cat. And the idea of Turkey is that this place is full of cats and dogs, but we, but the thing is these cats and dogs are very fat, meaning they're well fed, even though they're stray animals. But then there's also a conversation in the, in the comments of how Turkish people treat animals better than they treat other people, or even Turkish people treat animals better than Syrian people, Arab people, uh, refugees, e Egyptians, whatever. So they got like that, and I, and I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, give me more views. This is crazy. Then the next two hours, it already hit a million, which was like, wow, that was my first million. And that was just three hours in, and it kept going. The video ultimately became very viral, and it became a, a viral sound. And I think that why the video did well is because of a couple different elements. You know, there's the street, there's the people, the, the guy, he's Turkish, you know, Turkish guy, um, the mannerism of what he's doing to the, the cats, uh, the sound, there's a Turkish music that's playing in the background. Uh, it's what the guy is saying too. I think he's telling the cat to leave, but the cat's just enjoying the, the scrub so much, he just doesn't want to leave. Um, the timing, everything just felt into, it's, everything was perfect. Um, but like I said in the comments, they continue to grow. This video is about a, a cat being groomed in Turkey, which is showing how Turkish people really treat their animals. They really love their cats and their dogs. And the comments go from like, this is so funny, let me share it to someone I know, to a, a political uh, debate in my comments about like how Turkish people are uh, racist to other people, and but they treat their animals better than they treat refugees and Syrians, Libyans, and uh, anybody else that's not a, a Turkish person. You know, and I don't really know much about that, but um, I see what was going on. Um, from that, it, it became to where uh, I would literally walk down the street and someone would stop me and be like, oh, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> you know, the, the Turkish accent. And, They'll tell me, is this you? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And it's like, wow, like, you know, that you're viral. And uh, it, everywhere I go, people stop me for that video. As far as a guy, I don't know where he's at, but I know where I found the video. I might find him again <laughs> and tell him this is what happened when I came to Turkey on my second day. And it was a huge success. It was a great start off to my YouTube travel journey in uh, Turkey. The video, the video now went from 1 million to 7 million in just uh, one month. Uh, and that is incredible. I only wish I had the creator fund uh, available for me at the time. Uh, I didn't have it because I had some region issues uh, applying, but it's okay. Uh, my message still came across. Um, it's so funny, like I meet random people on the street or even travelers on the way and they're saying like, you look kind of familiar and then they it, it hits them lately like, oh wait, that's you. I, I didn't realize that that's you. I've seen your video before I met you and that happens all the time uh, here in Turkey. The video even went so viral to where it was uh, featured in China or Japan. I don't know, but it was 10 million views in uh, China, I think. Yeah, a million views in China. I had a friend that I met in Egypt, and she's a Chinese YouTuber, and she sent me uh, like a photo, and she's like, hey, you're viral in China. Did you know that? And I'm like, no, I didn't. She's like, yeah, it's that video of the of the, of the cat being scrubbed, and uh, it's, it's, it's trending, and I'm just like, wow, this is great. But with all this viral sensation going on, being viral in Turkey, uh, being viral in China, um, I noticed that I'm not getting the audience back, my content being spread around the world. Be and that's because a lot of these channels, I noticed when a video takes off, there's gonna be content snipers, if you however you wanna call it, 
they will grab that video from your platform and upload it to their channel so they can get an aud grow an audience off of your own content. So as I as my video did take off on TikTok, which is still there now, I noticed a lot of people messaging me saying, hey, your video's here, your video's there, your video's there, your video's there. Meaning these videos are being taken from my channel, but they're not tagging me. So it's not allowing me to grow as a content creator. And it's really unfair. I've seen so many channels with uh, 100,000, 300,000, even 1 million on uh, Facebook, on uh, Instagram, on TikTok, and they just didn't do me the credit of tagging me, which really hurts me a lot. So the only outcome of that was to tag my video, but I don't think it's necessary. Like you never really know when a video is gonna take off. You know, this was just something I thought was going to be cool to upload and I didn't realize how big it was going to be. But I know like the way my video spread even all the way to China, like I should have had a much bigger audience, you know? And I've, I've uploaded the same video on Instagram. I got about like 800,000 views, but not so much as TikTok. TikTok gave me 7 million. Instagram gave me 800,000. YouTube only gave me like barely 2,000. Facebook, like nothing, you know? But that's my story. Um, if you have any questions uh, about my video, if you've seen it online somewhere, let me know in the comments below. Like if you found me through Facebook or Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions and uh, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel grow and I hope to see you guys in my next video, okay? Peace.